Fun organization is working to increase the number of women who run for office in our state next year. They want to see that number triple. South Carolina is next to last among all states when it comes to female representation in the legislature compared to the population. Mary Green explains their plan to change that. Next year, every seat in the legislature here at the South Carolina State House will be up for grabs. The organization Women in Leadership wants to see more women serving here and in every level of government throughout South Carolina. We know that women work together across differences and deliver for their constituents. There just aren't enough of us in office. In the General Assembly, the body passing legislation and making decisions affecting all South Carolinians, women are extremely underrepresented. Though they make up slightly more than half the population, they hold less than 15% of the seats in the legislature. We are not even close to, uh, to parity and representation. As women, we bring a different skill set me personally, I think in the legislature and our experiences of, as women are different than those of men and we need to make sure our voice is heard. On Wednesday, Women in Leadership launched its free campaign toolkit for women. It includes access to resources like self-paced lessons and videos, budget spreadsheet templates, and worksheets to stay on top of deadlines and requirements. This is geared toward campaigns for elected office at all levels, along with appointed offices as well. We talk to a lot of women, particularly that don't have successful campaigns the first time, that feel like it was like a practice run because they were just figuring things out. Um, and women shouldn't have to have a practice run. Women in leadership develop the toolkit as a roadmap so female candidates can focus more time on building their platform and meeting with voters. We don't need to spend time reinventing the wheel. Women are already busy. This is one more thing that they're adding to everything that they're responsible for and everything that they do. And we don't want them to spend time on something that's already out there and that has been proven in, in other previous past campaigns. Meanwhile, in the executive branch, South Carolina is one of more than 30 states where a woman currently serves as either the governor or the lieutenant governor. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Women in Leadership says that there was an increase in women elected across the state in municipal elections earlier this month.